Hey everyone, Stephanie here, and we're going to be doing some um, a live hauling today. I got some stuff from, um, let's see, Hobby Lobby Michaels. I'm going to do a little chatting and uh, we'll just hang out. All right. So um, I was just, I decided to come live here at the last minute and, um, you know, come and show you what I got because I'm kind of sort of behind in editing videos now. And I was like, there's no way. I mean, you know, so. I can get this out of the way now and then I can start editing the um, process videos that I have coming out. All right. I apologize. I'm shaking my table. I hope somebody joins me today. I mean, I didn't, I only posted in the community tab. I really didn't, um, you know, um, like, what is the word? <laughs> I didn't like put it out there, <laughs> whatever. Um, so some of you will be catching the replay. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do y'all? Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back in the YouTube. I forgot to do the YouTube thing. I hope everyone is here and uh, comes in. <laughs> Let me go into the back of YouTube here. Oh, I forgot to do that. I was rushing around trying to get everything done. I have a new ring light and it's set up like right here so I can be lit over here. So I hope the lighting looks good. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me go in the back of this. Let's see. Can I do that while I'm... Uh, Moderator actually is hidden. Oh, let's see. Uh, so, uh, there's three people here. So, <laughs> say hello <laughs> while I uh, take care of uh, the stuff on the back end, which I should have done uh, before. All right. I am going to set the um, subscriber, um, you know, for one. Uh, okay. I'm on the back end, y'all. Just give me a second. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, everyone who's watching and lurking and uh, not saying anything. Live reactions. That's cool. Let me set the, the chat just in case. So I'm going to show you my haul, y'all, and then I'm going to chat just for a little bit. We're going to chat about different things. I might try to show you my other channel here. I did have a bunch of hauls you know, from some other places, and I wanted to sh share that with you. Uh, but it's up on my other channel. Let's see, live reactions, slow mode. Okay. Uh, make sure. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get. Let me. Let me check this out too. Just a second. Just a second. <laughs> uh, I'm always doing something. I swear. Could never just go smooth. All right. Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. Um. This monetization is saved. Let's see. What else do I want to do here? Oh, let me do this. Just a second. Um. Hold on. Uh, let's do the latest. Okay, uh, it takes me a couple of seconds, y'all. Just give me a few minutes here. Give this a couple of seconds, two seconds. Uh, let me see. I got some clearance stuff too. I'll share, share that with you in a few minutes. Okay, all right, I'm just putting a couple of tags in here. Thank you. I have five people watching. I appreciate that. Hold on, y'all. Just a second. I got some stuff from Michaels too. Um, I went to Michaels. You know, I don't, I don't shop at Michaels that much anymore, y'all. You know, it's like when I go in there, if they don't have a huge bead sale, like a seventy percent off or something like that, you know, or like an art sale, I don't. You know, I feel like Michaels. I don't know. They just don't do it for me like they used to. You know. So I don't know what's going on with them. But then again, I do have a smaller one near me. So that could be it. But when I seem like when I go to the bigger stores, um, I can find tend to find a little bit more stuff. But yeah, it's not really Michael's not my thing anymore. And I love Michael's. But then again, of course, I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. And then the coupons are not that great. So and I will put all of my um, links and stuff in the description after the video. OK. All right, y'all. So let's go back here um i'll go here okay i think I'm, i think i'm all set up y'all okay all right now i was trying to wait for some people to come in too because i kind of uh uh posted it uh you know last minute like all right now this is my cute new water cup i got from tuesday uh, i about to say tuesday morning i got this from uh tj maxx right so i've been following the water talk y'all if y'all don't know what water talk is if you're on tiktok just Hashtag water talk is when the girls put the syrups, the skinny syrups, 
in the um the little drink mixes and they mix them all up and they have water and it's good for people who you know people who don't like to drink water i'm a big water drinker huge water drinker like i drink about four or five of these a day full right but i can't do the drink the powdered drink mixes things because they kind of make my stomach hurt but i do use the skinny syrups and i've been getting those at tj maxx and i love them um i right now i have i use the pineapple um you know the carbonated water that comes in a can i use a pineapple one of those and then i use mango syrup and it's delicious i mean really good so if you are if you find yourself not enjoying water because you just feel like it's too bland, check those skinny syrups out at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods. Now, the caramel and all that stuff, the caramel, the vanilla, you know, all those work great in coffee. So if you're a coffee or tea drinker, those are amazing in coffee and tea. But like the mango, the strawberry, peach, the raspberry, y'all, out of this world good. And you can put them in water. You can put them in the, the uh, carbonated water. You can put them in um, protein smoothies. You can put them in shakes. You can put them in cocktails if you like a good cocktail. I bought some for, uh, I bought some skinny margarita mix. I got two of them for cocktails. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. So you might want to check that out, okay? Hold on a second. I feel like I need to block my lipstick just a little bit. So, water talk on TikTok. I ain't affiliated. I just do it. I found it to be uh, very interesting. But if you can stomach the, the powders, you know, the flavored ones, they have so many. They sell them at Dollar Tree, too. Um, they like Skittles flavor or like Sunkiss flavor or Jolly Rancher or something like that. You you know, you open it up, you shake it in the water, and then you squirt or stir it up, and you put the syrup in there. That's a lot. I think kids like that. My son liked it. I made it for him, and he loved it. But for an adult that just that's too too much for me <laughs> so i just do syrups and call it a day anyway i just want to share that okay now let's get on with the haul y'all can you hear me okay i think you can somebody would say something if you couldn't hear me let me see if i can hear myself hold on let me make sure okay um let's see and make sure that you have um all messages checked here wait just a second Hold on. Uh, live chat in the live chat. Make sure. What? Why can't I? Y'all, I cannot. Well, it says top messages. I don't know how to change that. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. All right. So let's get on with it. Now, uh, a lot of people are probably going to be watching the replay. And um, this is some stuff I got from Michaels. Let me turn the camera down. Hold on. Uh, I'll show you, Mike. Well, yeah, because everything else is going to be Hobby Lobby after this, y'all. So, and then, of course, we're going to chat and hang out if you want to. If not, don't worry about it. All right. So, hold on. Make sure my mic is good. I think I just muted myself. But uh, let's see. Let's get the camera on the table. All right. There we go. So, hold on. Let me fix this. This is in the way here. All right. So, I find this to be distracting. Hold on. <laughs> okay. That's better, I think. I can't see the chat though. Oh, uh, why is it not? Hold on, I'm trying to see why chat top messages filter. What is the deal? Oh, here we go. All messages. Why did they make that put an extra step in trying to find the chat? That's crazy. All right, so let me close this out. All right, now I just went to Michael's actually, y'all, to look for some inks because I'm working on a project right now and I needed some fluorescent inks. Okay. So I bought these. Now these, I use a coupon, okay? And um, like when I went before, I got these two before. I, I might have shown these in a haul, y'all. I'm not. I don't remember. I might have. Um, the this is like a fluorescent green, which is beautiful, okay? And then a fluorescent um uh, pink. Just gorgeous. I really want neon colors because I'm working on, on black canvas and black paper. All right, y'all. So, um, oh, yeah. Okay, these are two I bought before. Um, you know what? Let's yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, hold on. Knocking everything over. <laughs> hold on. Just now. I got an avalanche going. All right. Crafty avalanche. Um, here. Let's, uh, hold on. Let me check. All right. Oh, my God. Hold on. 
I got a few text messages here. Okay. I think hubby's going to grab food. So I'm going to make sure I pay attention if I want to eat. <laughs> but uh, I did. I got the, um, I got fluorescent blue. And I thought it was really pretty. You know, um, I don't know. I'm going to try it. it. These were $6.99. But I had a uh, coupon, a 20% off. So I used it like a 20% off of everything. And um, then I got the fluorescent red. Now, this is very red. I really wanted neon. And I did get some neon paint, but I got that at Hobby Lobby. Because I'm just testing to see what looks best on black paper. Now, we know metallic looks great on black paper, right? So I just was wanting to see. Then, and, of course, fluorescent paint looks good on black. But I wanted to, to uh, use some inks because I needed to work with them in my, my, my project. So I got that one. Those two. Then I got a black. Now, I have some black ink, but it's um, the Sumi ink. I didn't have any like this. I had been meaning to get one. For the longest time, I just didn't. So I got the black ink there. I think all these were $6.99, y'all, I believe. Oh, yeah, something like that, $6.99. Sorry about my nails. <laughs> I've been uh, painting and doing, cleaning my room and doing a bunch of stuff. So I haven't had a chance to really, uh, you know, get my nails uh, together here. Let me, you know what, let's put on a pretty ring here. Let's see. Maybe it won't be so distracting. Okay. <laughs> I keep all my rings in like a little drawer right here. Lip gloss and stuff like that. Rings for when I do my live streams. Tissues, stuff like that. <laughs> all right, y'all. Just kind of a sidebar to the sidebar. So in the jewelry section, I did see a few chain pieces of chain that I like, but I was like, eh, I don't really need chain, right? So I grabbed um, these. These are 15 millimeter. These are the thick jump rings, y'all. Very thick. So... I'm going to try to, I'm trying to make myself some chain to go on my Crocs. Now I bought some from Hot, from um, AliExpress, right? Um, I like them, but I realized I needed, you know, I wanted to get like four, you know, a pair for one pair of shoes and one pair for another one. Well, I just, I didn't order right. So I didn't get enough, you know, enough for the shoes. So I'm going to attempt to make my own. And I'll show you the chain, I think, that I got, too. Hey, Linda. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Linda, Miss Linda is in the house. All right. She's our mod. Linda, are you modding um, now or are you just popping in? Let me know. So I got the 15 millimeter. I like these because they're thick. And actually, you could probably make some chain out of these, y'all. I think these were like three, three ninety nine, three forty nine dollars at Michael's. So I got those, all right, just kind of random. And then I was walking down the paint aisle because I was looking for some neon paint, right? And then I happened to see this. Now, I think they sell this at Hobby Lobby as well. And I just wanted to try it because it's like you make the little dots on your uh, project. Okay, you're modding. Great. All right, y'all. Perfect. Miss Linda is modding, so behave yourselves. <laughs> she will block you. <laughs> um. This one is called Ancient Stone, right? And it's kind of like a beigey color. And then this is black. I said, you know, I like, they had a bunch of other colors. And I think this was $3.99. I want to say, I said, if I like the way that this looks, I would go get the other colors. But, you know, I don't know. We'll see. All right, we'll see. Uh, yeah, because they, they were $3.99. So I got those. Now, I never, almost never get Michael stickers because their stickers are so expensive. But I had a coupon and I really needed these stickers for my um, project that I want to work, right? So let me show you what I got. Now I'm going to make, I'm making an African journal. I want to say a safari, but it's not really safari. I mean, it's going to have some safari elements. It's going to have some African elements. It's going to have some African-American elements. I want to sort of to encompass all of that. And I saw these really beautiful stickers. Now, this one is Egypt. It's so beautiful, right? These stickers were $4, I think $4.49 each. Again, I had a coupon. And um, so I thought this was so pretty. I think it's going to look great in my journal. I'm sort of gathering items to make the journal. And I'll show you real quick all the stuff I put together in like a folder because I'm going to put these, this, these things in a folder. But I just thought they were beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that little vase. I mean, they're a little bit dimensional, but they're not so dimensional that it'll be bulky in a journal, you know? So I thought that was beautiful. So I got that one. And look at this one. You know what? I probably need something white behind it, y'all. Here, let's try this. I'm going to use some of this in the journal, too, to make the cover. But look at the rhinos. Aren't they beautiful? Very realistic, right? 
so realistic just really cute so i love that really beautiful so i got that one and then i got the elephants right very realistic looking this little one is so cute just so cute so i got that one excuse me and then i oh look at the lions I, this is my favorite look at the lions they have gold foil on the mane on the hair and stuff just beautiful really beautiful and look at the baby so cute so cute this beautiful stickers really beautiful and then i got the uh zebras i thought i had giraffes but i don't know i may have to go back i only wanted so many you know because I have some other stuff. Oh, you know what, y'all? I have something coming probably right as we're on the air. Amazon is going to um, deliver um, so, uh, something that I ordered for my African Journal. I think it's the um, I think it's the rice paper, but I'll show it to you if it comes in. You know, before we get off the air, if I can go downstairs and grab it. But look at the zebras! Aren't they beautiful? So realistic. Just beautiful. Really, really pretty. So I got those. This is going to look great in my journals, y'all. Just so pretty. Yes, I'm glad I did have a coupon. So it took, you know, all the stuff. It took 11, 12 bucks off. So I was happy, you know, you know. So those are going to go for my African um, journal. Right? And uh, after I show you the haul, I will just show you really. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I will show you really quick uh, all the stuff that I uh, put together for my journal. Okay, so now what do we start? <laughs> Let's see here. Now, I've, I've, I've gone to Hobby Lobby a couple times in the last couple of weeks, and I've had a few things sitting on my floor. So I have this and then this. Okay. Now this was when they had the uh, the, the stuff on sale in the floral section. I wasn't going to get this, but I do use this quite a bit in my projects. And it's kind of big. I mean, normally I get, you know, I have one uh, old one that I had kind of almost done with it. Maybe that's why I bought this one. It was kind of short, you know, like the half the size. But I thought this was cool. And this was uh, originally $11.99. I got it for $2.49. Sorry, y'all. My thing is not focusing. Hold on a second. Give me a second. You know, my camera has issues. <laughs> she got issues. So this is $2.49. And uh, this was in the um, aisle where they have all the florals, you know, the floral ribbons and stuff. So I got that. They had a black one, too. I like that one, too. But and this has gold in it, a little bit of gold. So, that you know, I love that. I don't know if I see the black one, I may grab it, but I don't necessarily need it. But I liked it, you know. And then this looks like the burlap, which is cool. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll tell you in a second. Um, this was originally $11.99 and I got it for $2.99 clearance okay so and then i saw these keychains now i think these are for crickets i believe um you know where you cut out the clear stickers and um you know put them on here the words and stuff like that but they were only 279 they were in like the cricket aisle they have different colors of these y'all like the hotel keys remember the old school hotel keys those of you who are old enough to remember that that's what they look like i thought that was so cool so there'd be keychains but i was wondering how would they look if I uh, like collaged on them and then put some um, lacquer on them? I'm going to try that. Uh, we'll see. Right. So if I if it works out the way that I want it to and they look great, I might go get a couple of more colors because these are fabulous. OK, really fabulous. All right. So. Yeah. So next time in Hobby Lobby, you want to see these and you have a cricket and you want to make that is uh, it was two seventy nine. They were not on sale. So all right, let me get a drink here. Let me put this away. I have more stuff. All right, let's put this back in the bag. All righty. Now, let's see. What else I got? Oh, wait. You know what? I got another mic. Something else from Michael. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a couple things. Let me see. Uh, and I had a few things from Joanne's, too, but I put it away already. I got a new matte medium, uh, a 16 ounce. I had a 60% off coupon. So I always try to get, you know, more expensive things when they have those 60% off coupons, you know. So I got some of that and I got a couple of the little clearance um, vellum sheets. I'll show it to you because I put it in my African um, packet here. Now this other stuff I bought before I bought this other stuff here. Like I bought this about a week ago. 
This was on clearance, y'all. This was $10. Look at this. This Liquitex ink. It was 10 bucks. I love these. I actually have these two colors. I don't have the silver, but I have the gold, iridescent gold. And um, what is this one? Let's see. Let's open it. I think this is iridescent gold and iridescent copper. Yes, I believe I have these. This was $10 at Michael's. So, and I saw some when I was in there. So they still have some. I guess if you want to go to Michael's and you want to get this for 10 bucks, that's pretty good. I'm not sure how much it normally is. It's probably like 20 something. So, and I know these are probably nine bucks a piece. So that's actually a really good deal. Nine, they're about nine or 10 bucks a piece. So 10 bucks for this is a pretty good deal. So the iridescence, if you like, if you use ink in your projects. So I got that at Michael's from the first trip. Um, what else did I have in here? Let me see. I have something else in here. Um, Liquitex. I don't remember what else I had in here, but <laughs> I think I took it out, whatever it was. Uh, let me have some paint. I don't know. I don't know. But I got this one. This Artist Loft um, Parchment Level 3. It was nine bucks. So I said I want to try this a big one. It's a five ounce. Okay, so I got that one. Oh, y'all. And they did have some paints and inks and stuff on, like, you know, their clearance. So if you're in Michael's, you could check it out, you know. All right, so I got that. Um, here, let's leave that out. Okay. Now, let's see. I might have something else in these bags. Hold on. Now I have some random things. <laughs> so I'm not going nowhere. I'm just grabbing things. Sorry about the prank room. Uh, oh, okay. All right. And then I went today and I got some stuff today. All right, now. I got this. Um... They're starting to clear us out the ribbons. Wait, hold on. I feel like I'm so far away, y'all. Just a second. Okay. Might be better. Uh, they're starting to clear us out the ribbons, y'all. And um, I got this one. This is dark blue. It's almost like a denim color. Right? So it was $1.74, originally $6.99. So I got that. It's pretty cute. You know, I only got one of these because the last time they clearance these out, I got a bunch of them. And I don't need a whole lot. So I didn't have this one and I just wanted to add this for my stash. So I got that one. And then here's what I'm going to put on my, my Crocs. Now, this was not on sale. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> um, so what you can do, I, I'm going to do is cut this, like cut it in half and put one on one foot and one on the other. Um, and that's why I got these. You know, attach it to the end and put it on the shoe, but I'll see. I'm going to do one shoe, and if it works out, I will just do a quick video on it, but I don't know. We'll see. This is beautiful, though. This is really beautiful. I mean, I thought it was a little too pricey for that, but I mean, at the very least, if it doesn't work, I can make a pretty bracelet out of it. I thought, well, okay, if I put it apart and, you know, it doesn't, it, look, it looks crazy, I can just still, you know, work a bracelet. So I got that, okay? So I thought that's, that's pretty. That's pretty close, right? Pretty cute, right? So, y'all know I get little jewelry stuff, I get a little crafting stuff, and I get art stuff, so. Because I do a bunch of different things. Okay. Um, let me see. That's from today. Let's see, let's see. Oh, all right. I think y'all like this. Um, this was, I got this stuff on sale when it was on sale last week. Look at this. And Linda, if you're watching, um, Hobby Lobby is clearancing out some of, well, they have their canvases on sale. So let's go over the little different little canvases I got. Kind of different, right? So um hold on, y'all. Just a second. There we go. I think that looks better. I think so. So um this was $2.29, originally $3.99. I wanted to try this. I thought this looked so cool. And it says eight, eight inch by eight inch. So I don't know. I'll try it and see. So, you know. These little different sort of size canvases. They the bigger ones, the the gallery style is on uh, uh, the sale. I love the gallery, y'all. The gallery is at such good prices now. You know, thick with the thick, um, you know, the thick on the sides. Oh my god, such good prices, such good prices. So I did get a bunch of black ones. I got about six or seven black ones, but they're all different sizes and they're all down in the garage. Um, but I grabbed these. This one's a triangle one. All right, now this one is um, like, I guess it's just like a little panel. It says canvas panel. And this is six by six size. And it was $249. You know, I got 
I got these because I kind of want to play with these with some mixed media stuff. I thought it'd be kind of cool to try that. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. You know, I have all these bright ideas, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, I got two of these just so like, you know, if I start playing with it and I mess it up, at least I have, I can kind of reel it in and have a couple that if I mess it up, I can just, you know, fix it and then make some new ones. So they were both $249. they are both six by six. All right. So I got those. All right. That's what they look like. Yeah, three pack. They both have three in there. So and they're flat on the back. So that's actually cool. And then I got the big ones. Um, this one's eight by eight. And this was three originally um 549 and went down to 329. And they're both eight by eight size. So again, one to sort of play with and one to use, you know, for uh work. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I'll see. I have an idea for this, but um, I don't know. You know, you know how you have ideas and then you think and you try starting it, but then you go for it with it and it looks crazy. And then you're like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> you got to think of something else. So we'll see. But I don't know if I'll record it, but I will maybe show it to you in a short video or something. So I got all these on sale, y'all. All of these, um, a lot of most of their canvases have this on it, the, the yellow tag. Okay, they have the yellow tag on there. Um, so hold on one second. Hold on. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, one second, y'all. Talk amongst yourselves. Hold on. Chicken. Um. Um. What? What is it? Chicken string beans. Sorry, I'm getting sending my husband my order, y'all. <laughs> string bean. Hold on, I'm still here. Okay, got it. Oh, it looks like my uh, package got delivered. Hold on, I think it's. Um, let me see. Hold on. See where they put it. I can't stand when they put stuff in view of the street because, you know, some, some thievery is sitting right in the chair, y'all. Oh, God. Can y'all hold on for just as Linda, can you hold it down till I come back? I'm going to run downstairs and get this package. All right. Um, let me show you this before I go get it. So these are Paper Studio. And... These are photo frames and cards and envelopes. Photo photo frame cards and envelopes. It's a six pack, which is great because it doesn't have that many pieces in it, right? And this one is four by five, so it's perfect. All right, very very good. Um, I'll open this when I come back. I just want to show that to you. And then this one's five by seven. These were forty percent off, so it's forty percent off of three forty nine, and then forty percent off of three ninety nine. All right, all right, y'all. So let me run downstairs. I will be back, Linda, in two seconds. Okay. All right. Thanks, y'all. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Thanks, Linda. All right. Now, I got this package. Let me open it. <sighs> Wait. Make sure I don't cut, cut the wrong thing here. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Look at this. <laughs> Just a second. Look at that. It's all messed up. All right, 
here, I'll talk about this in a second. I just wanted to go get it. <sighs> All right. Now, can you hear me okay? Y'all can hear me, right? Oh, talk messages. No. Hold on a second. Why am I not? I'm not seeing all messages. Um, all messages. Okay, there we go. Sound right. Okay, perfect. Now this is a four by five for the cards. I was thinking this would be really cool if you get these, like I got these, and either you can put like a watercolor little scene in here or a mixed media color and just kind of decorate it, right? So let me see. What is um? How does this open? Hold on. Is this Stephanie proof? Oh, <laughs> duh. <laughs> so let me see. Can you open these? Oh, it's like this. Oh, okay. So it's like a little frame. You open it at the bottom, and then you can slide in whatever you want to slide in. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, okay. So yeah, and it comes with envelopes too. So that's actually good. I'm glad it was only six in here because I don't need a whole bunch of cards at all. And I assume this one is the same way, the bigger one. All right. Hold on, let me put this back in here. I don't mess it up. Okay, just a second. All right, so yeah, this is the same thing. So, um, yeah, these are cute. These are really nice. I like those a lot. Let me put these on the floor. All right. Okay, now this, uh, y'all, I just got in. This is by Stamperia. It's a uh, rice paper. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? That's really small. I don't know how much this was. It might have been like $7 or something like that off of Amazon. Um, if I find one, when, when I get off of here and I put all my stuff in the description, I will put it in the, just listed in the description. So if anybody's looking for like the Stamperia rice papers, this is the Savannah. I believe it's Savannah uh, from the Savannah collection. <clears throat> and it's really beautiful with that giraffe. It's a little bent, but that's okay, because I'm going to put it down in a journal with matte medium. So I ordered this. I ordered two packs of ephemera and then, like, um, some other, like, a, a sticker book. So I ordered that from Amazon. All right. And the um, ephemera doesn't come till next week, so the other stuff doesn't come to next week. So I got that. All right. So let's put this over here. <clears throat> now, let's continue on as we were. <laughs> As we were. Um, oh, wait. Oh, no. This is. No. This is going here. Sorry. Grab something that shouldn't have been in the bag. In the bag. So I did get a few more ribbons. Not too many. Just a few. Well, I don't need them. I don't need any, actually. But they are putting their ribbons and trims on sale. All right. So if you need any of this stuff, and I got a bunch of buttons, y'all. Wait till you see the buttons I got. Now, there are some people who have been finding the buttons on clearance. I have not found any clearance buttons yet. I found, uh, I'll talk about it when I get there. They have a sale instead of the clearance, but I think they're going to be marking the clearance because they marked some more stuff down in the sewing area. So the sewing area is getting marked down now, okay? Now, I got this neon paint for my black journals. I had some neon paint, y'all, but I think I threw it away when I was cleaning up this room. Um... I can't find it. So I just got this one and I don't need that much of it. You know, I have the fluorescent and I have the neon. So I'm going to try this neon on my black journals pages. And, you know, you, it only comes really in these colors. So, and it was uh, $15.99 and went down to $7.99. So, yeah, I got that. All right. So very, very cool. The master's touch. Um, it wasn't, all, I couldn't get a 40% off because it was already marked. All right. So, yeah, got that. I like my little art supplies, y'all. I got some cute little art supplies. I love it. All right. So, here are some trims. None of us need trims. I sure don't. <laughs> I was even debating if I was going to keep some of these because I know for a fact I have a pink one. Uh, I don't know if I have this color. I might even have this color. I know I have one of these, but I'm just getting an extra one of these. You know, these are like the rosettes. So, it was marked down to $1.49. Okay. And uh, it says rose trim and ivory. This is the only color I saw marked so far. It was $5.99. It was down to $149. And it's that, you know, like here, let's take it out so you can see it. Like, look, it's that, that trim. You know, a lot of us use this on stuff. 
You could use this on journals or cards or whatever you want, right? So it's very pretty. I have one. I have I actually have them all colors, but you know, I always like to use this color because it's kind of a staple. You can use this on a lot of vintage and shabby chic projects. <clears throat> so I got that. Now look at this cool ribbon. You know what I bought this for? My African journal. I thought, oh, that's so cool. And uh it was, I guess, $6.99 says. It looks like $6.99. Down to $149. I don't know, $5.99 maybe. Might be $5.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I got it for $1.49. So it's really pretty, huh? Very ethnic looking. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I got that. And then I just got the two trims, the pink. Okay. This had a baby pink. That was 74 cents, y'all. 74 cents. It's called blush. Right? So it was $3.99. And then this one is like, what is this one called? I don't even know. What is it? Beige. It's beige. Also 74 cents. Let's see. Can we see it up close? Yeah, there you go. Sometimes my camera doesn't want to focus. Very pretty. And here's a pink one. Okay. Very, very pretty, right? And then there, do we see this up close? Kind of that woven um, ethnic fabric stuff, you know? And then I got this one. Some of, some of their trim, the bigger trims are also on clearance. They had several, you know, along with like the denim one I just showed you. Um, I actually have one of these as well, but I like this... Um, this color is like off-white or ivory. And this was $2.49. I see it was $8.99. Then it got marked down to $4.99 and then $2.49. So, and it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Sorry, it's this flashing out here. It's kind of glare, but it's really pretty. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. So I'll have this for a long time. So if you're in there and you, you know, you want to get trims, I, you could definitely grab this because look how much you get on here. This will last forever. So couple of years at least right and I, I use this on everything i use this in journals i put it on mixed media cards all sorts of things so you know you can have for a number of things now let's check this out look at the buttons i'm gonna line them up for y'all <sighs> let's line up the buttons here let's see we got buttons buttons and more buttons <clears throat> and i'll explain what i'm doing here in a second sorry i got a frog a frog in the throat Okay. Um, here, let me see. These are my favorites. Look at my favorites. All right. So, all right. Now, look at the buttons, y'all. So, the store that I was went to, they had a sale on the buttons. So, anything up to three forty nine was. 99 cents any of the buttons so if it said 349 up here you know at the top right there it was 99 cents but if it was more than 349 it was a dollar 99 each so these were all a dollar 99 even if it said 999 it was a dollar 99 like this one was 99 cents because it was 349 so this this particular one was 99 cents look at it, it's beautiful Isn't it gorgeous Wow, just cut the back of them off and glue it on your project. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, I don't know if they're getting rid of them or moving them out because they got new ones coming in or what, but that's gorgeous. So, sorry, I got I got stuff all over my hands, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that's gorgeous, right? Isn't that beautiful? All right. So these were $1.99. I have been I was looking at these uh, maybe about a month ago because I have one. I put it on a journal. And I wanted a couple of more because I was trying to make my croc charms for my shoes. And, um, I could, you know, I was like, well, for five bucks, that's expensive. You know, it's like, oh, I don't want to pay that, but they were $1.99 each. So I was like, oh, I could swing that. So look at how beautiful these are. Let me just hold these here for a second. Let me gorgeous. $1.99 each. Get to Hobby Lobby and grab these buttons. Okay. So a lot of them are on clearance. These were not. So maybe the ones that were not on clearance, they just marked, you know, selling them at a sale and the ones they are getting rid of, I guess, are clearance. I don't know. But they do have a bunch of them on clearance. But the ones I, I think I saw it in um Vagabond Crafter, you know, Nicole. I saw it in her video. The ones that were on clearance. Was it her video? I don't know, y'all. I apologize if it wasn't her, but it was somebody's video where they had the buttons on clearance, but they weren't the ones that I wanted. So I like these that they are, you know, the ones that I want. 
All right, look at these. This was $1.99 also. This would be a beautiful pair of earrings, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be gorgeous? Just gorgeous. Look at that. Everything. That is everything. I'm going to try to hold it still so you can see it. That's everything. Gorgeous. Look at this one. Beautiful. I love those little rhinestones on it. You know I love bling, so got to have that. Beautiful. And look at these. This is a superstar right here. Superstar. $1.99. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Really beautiful. So I got that one. This was also $1.99. Just gorgeous. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. And then... Look at this, my favorite. I might get, I might go back and get one more of these. This is absolutely beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Wow, wow, wow. Just stunning. Just, and I love all the, the I can't even hold them close enough for you to see them. I'm trying to hold, yeah, there we go. We can focus. Look at that. Just, just dances in the light. It's just gorgeous. And then I saw these because I thought they would make really cute croc charms, but I'll see. The little, um, you know, the little uh, metal pins, enamel pins or whatever. So that's what it look like on the back. But, you know, you cut that off with a nipper tool and then you can just glue it on your project or whatever. So I thought these would be really cute for that. Right? Really, really cute. And then I got these for like for, for like mixed media stuff. I thought that would be kind of cool. Like if I, if I make another journal and I need some cool mixed media, you know, buttons or something. Just very cool. I love the layering of that. Just beautiful. So, yeah. Um, They were all $1.99 with the exception of that one. That was $0.99, cents, okay? It's not focusing, y'all. Hold on. Let me get out of the frame. There we go. <laughs> um, So beautiful. So if you like buttons and bling and all that, you can get to uh, get over there and grab you some, okay? Let's leave these out here. All right. Now, um... Okay, I don't have that much more stuff, y'all. So, almost done. I went in there today and just grabbed a few things. Because, like I said, the sewing section is, um, they're marking that down. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, here. Kind of random stuff here. Yeah, I think that's it. I was looking around. Um, I think that's it for the for all the bags. Um, this one I grew. I just, this one now. When I went in to get these other ones here, this one this this one was not marked down. So I just grabbed this one. It was a dollar twenty four, and it was six ninety nine. And I thought that would be really cute for like a you know shabby chic project. It's kind of got that handkerchief look to it. So uh, what is it called? Oh, pink eyelet trim. So. I don't have anything like that. You know, I'm not getting a whole bunch of ribbons. It's just I'm getting either stuff I love and I use often or um, stuff I don't have. Okay. So that's it. And I don't, you know, or, you know, stuff I use and I want, like I said, uh, you know, extras of or whatever. That's it. I only have what? One, two, three, four, seven, maybe eight so far. So that's really good for me. <laughs> now, the, their uh, needles. If you have a sewing machine and you sew, their needles, some of their needles are being marked down. I do have a sewing machine and I have a singer. Now, I haven't used it in ages, <laughs> but these are universal uh, needles. I haven't bought any needles in ages. So they were $1.24 down from $4.99. And um, actually, when I was looking at these, the lady was marking the other stuff down in that little bitty area where all these type of things are. So, and I didn't want to bother her. So I saw this one and just grabbed it. So I may go back and see what else she marked down. But these are cool because they're universal. You can use them on, on all kinds of stuff, I guess. Denim and, you know, all different uh, types of fabrics and stuff, right? So I wasn't sure. I don't even know how many needles I have in, you know. I haven't opened my sewing kit, y'all, in forever. So this just will be just some extra needles that I need for my sewing machine when I do decide to use it. Now, this is pretty cool. This is a needle card. Uh, Nicole, uh, Vagabond Crafter, she opened this. It's really cool. Let me open it, too. And so if you see this, well, first of all, it's it was $2.99. And then when it went down to $0.74, cents, 
and it's like this a little needle card so you get different size well different i guess different needles i don't know i don't think it's different sizes i think it's just different colors so you get one black one white ivory gray red navy brown and green okay and that's what comes in here now i thought about this i think this will be really cool to use on paper like if i want to sew my jelly prints or something like that i thought that would be really cool to do that with okay so yeah you know just some little little uh you know extra needles and thread i mean you know especially if you don't need a whole bunch you just sew on like some uh sign not signatures but um what do you call them scraps together or you're making um you know the layers and stuff like that and you just need some this little uh, something extra to add to your project. I think this is kind of cute. So I just got grab one of those. This is the last one too. So I grabbed that. All right. Now the little snaps were on sale. I think I got the snap thing the last time, maybe two sales ago. You know where they snap these on? They had this, this color, this pink. They had a light pink, a yellow, and a white. Um, I just got the gold, like a bronze. I think it's like brass color. I don't know. And there are different sizes in here. So it says, uh, it just says seven, uh, 36 sets. So, well, two sizes. Looks like small and larger size. So I like this color a lot. It's really pretty. And it was 74 cents. All right. Uh, down from 349. And I just got this pink. Right. So I just have to find the tool. I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> Somewhere on my table over here. <laughs> And then I think when I bought it, it came with a few snaps too. So that's really good. I mean, I, you know, I'd probably just use them on journals, of course, or in, um, making uh, clusters or something like that. But I, you know, I like the yellow, but I don't know if I'd use yellow a lot. You know, the white, I don't know how much often that I would use that. And then that baby pink, I wasn't sure if I'd use that that much. So I would get, I just got the colors I like and what I may use, right? Oh, cause I still got y'all. Um, by the way, sidebar. I still have several boxes of D stash stuff to D stash. There's been sitting in the boxes since the last time. I just haven't had a chance to upload the videos and stuff, but I will. So there'll be more D stashes coming. All right. None of this stuff ain't gonna be in it, so don't get excited. <laughs> this is all new stuff for me. Okay. Um, and then they have tools. You know, I love tools. A good uh, clearance tool is amazing. Sorry, y'all's flashing out. So. Y'all, this was originally $21.99. And then they marked it down to $5.49. Look at these scissors. This is a so cool thumb triggering design. I love that. I thought, oh, I don't have that. Seven inch size. Sharpest blades. And Fiskars, you all know is a good, it's a good brand. So I just got those. Okay. So that's pretty cool, right? And then some of the uh quilting stuff is on sale too, on clearance, I mean. And um, I just got a tiny little slim rotary cutter. I have a bigger one. I have a couple of sizes, actually. Like, let me see. Like, look at this one. I keep it on my desk. Hold on. Like, look at this thing. I have this. I have a big, huge thing here. So I got a couple of sizes, you know. Um, but I didn't have a tiny one. And this one was six ninety nine. It went down to one ninety nine. Okay, and it, this would be good for paper. Paper is like smaller, small projects, you know. And then I got the blade, the extra blade to go with it for $1.49. So, you know, it's just always good to get extra tools because, you know, tools can be expensive, right? Tools are very expensive, you know. So that's what I grabbed for the sale. I think that's it, y'all, for the sale. Now, let me just show you Um, I'm gonna put what I put together for my, for my, um, my journal now i put all my stuff in here in one of these right here let's put these on the floor because it's going to be kind of in the way oh hold on let's move that around so i um put everything in here so far i went through all of my stickers and pulled everything out and you know trying to pull a piece together my um journal stuff and I have a lot of stuff. So, so far, this is what I have. All right. And all of these stickers here are going to be going in here. 
Like I got this one. I don't know. I got this one a while ago, y'all. This one is like, Af let me see. Hold on. This is an African sticker. I got so long ago. I think I got this maybe a year ago. And I saved it. And I thought it was so beautiful. So I'm going to use that in the journal too. Right? Beautiful. All right? And I'm going to use some African-American um, stuff. And it's like, I don't want it all to be like brown. Like, you know, all to be just sort of um, this stuff. I think some of the pages will have a lot of the stuff on it. But then also I want to have some pages where we have some more modern things, you know, modern um, people, um, people who are influential in black culture and people who are positive and things like that. So I'm going to try to incorporate that in it as well, but we'll see. All right. Um, so I have all these stickers. So I'm going to put those in there, which is gorgeous. All right. So I got those nice little stack of stickers. Can I put this in here? I'm noticing it's Halloween and Tim Holtz, but I might use it for that. Oh, look at these. Remember these? Who, who remembers these? These Jolie stickers. I've had these for years. I love these. I thought they were so beautiful. I used to put these on my Maggie Holmes stuff. Actually, I might have a couple in my Maggie Holmes box. So I got a couple of those. I got this one. You know, a little stuff that I uh, pulled out. That's going on there. Butterflies. You know, so you just like you can put different elements on your journals, right? If you want to make a theme journal, just go through your stash you know, and pull out your stuff and put it together and see how it looks, you know, because if it's, if it's not in the color scheme that you really want to start with, you can always change it later, you know, like this is going to go perfect with this because this goes to the Savannah collection. Now I got, this is a different collection. This is Prima. Uh, I think this is some more modern stuff in here, but I want to use it, you know, more modern ladies and, and stuff. So I'm going to definitely use that. And then I pulled out a couple of Dollar Tree stickers. I don't know if I like these, y'all. They're a little babyish, but I still think they're cute. I've had this forever, too. I got a couple of these stickers. So, yeah, I got that, and I got some ephemera. Look at these. I don't know when I got these. I don't even remember. <laughs> they were in my sticker stash, so I kept that one. Look at this one. I got this one also in my sticker stash. I kept that one. I just bought this one recently. So, you know, a lot of animal stickers. This is that ephemera from Hobby Lobby, so I got that one. And then um, I pulled out a couple of rub-on sheets for, you know, the journal pages and stuff. So, and then I have rice paper. I got a couple of rice paper. So that's really nice. I think this was, this is going to be really cute. All right. So, yeah, I love that. And then um, I pulled out some other stuff. Like, this is beautiful. This, um, it's, I got this at Joann's. It says washable paper, but it almost feels like faux leather. And that beautiful gold. I love that. I just love this paper. It's like $4.99 at Joann's, but I think I had a, I think it was like 70% off when I bought them. So if you, if you like this, Joann's has this. Just, you, you know, if it's not on sale, just use a coupon. <laughs> so, because, you know, you can fold it up and then, you know, put it in your journal or put it on the outside of the journal or whatever you want to do. And of course, the Savannah collection. That's Savannah. And then this is the uh, Amazonia. All right, this is Amazonia. I showed these already in the haul. Oh, here's what I got from Joann's. I got uh, a couple of these. Somebody else hauled these too. They're, um, Joann's has a lot of their stuff on clearance, y'all. And um, wait, hold on. I had two of these. Wait, let me see. Hold on. I lost one. Oh, here it is. I think these are a dollar at Joann's because they're, they're, they're marking down their old uh, paper collections. Like the Vicky Booten Sweet Rush. All this stuff was in the clearance aisle. So I want to say these were about a dollar each. And I thought they would be great in the journal. Okay. So I might, I'm thinking about making, when I make this journal, I may make it into a class. Right? Because there's so many moving parts to it. I can't do a whole video on it. It just takes too long. So I might do that. But we'll see. Because I think it would be helpful for people to know how to make a theme journal you know, gathering your items and, you know, doing your research on it. Cause you, I mean, you say you figure research on journal, but I do all the time. If I'm making anything pretty much, I look up stuff on Pinterest or uh, Instagram or whatever, just to kind of get a, a, an idea of what I want to do. But most of, more than likely, once I start putting my items together, the ideas start to come and it's like how you set it up and what you want to put in it and everything. So I think that will be helpful for people. This is 12 by 12 sheets. 
right? And then when you go to the craft stores, y'all, scour the clearance section, especially at Joann's. Um, because their paper is this this paper is really pretty. It's beautiful, right? Isn't it beautiful? Yes, it would be helpful. Okay, cool. So I have such beautiful things here to make that I'm really inspired to make this uh journal and it's gonna be gorgeous. So uh, I think I'm gonna make it a travels notebook style like I did, like I do all my other ones, just because I think that that's a little easier for me to do that. Oh, and look, I pulled some papers too from, um, yes, lots of great inspiration in researching your art. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. So I pulled out a bunch of papers too. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put out, I got this paper pad from Hobby Lobby, y'all. I think they still have it. Um, I forgot the name of it. Um, so look at this, look at the papers though. Isn't that beautiful? All the different animals. The elephants, the cheetahs, the uh, giraffes and zebras and stuff. Only thing I don't like is that it's very, it's muted. You see, it's kind of muted. It's not very bright and vivid. But I think when I start mixing it with the other papers that I have, it's going to look really cool, you know? So I just pulled out a few because I don't need to carry, you know, I mean, I don't know. I didn't want to carry the whole paper pad around the house or I'll put it in that thing, so... I just pulled out the sheets that I liked. And if I need more sheets, I can go back in there. So I pulled out some of these. Right. And, um, you know, different ones. So for the backgrounds. And I might even jelly print a few of these. And I have some jelly prints I'm going to use. I'm going to, you know how I do my journals. My journals are more mixed media. It's more like a mixed media art junk journal as opposed to just a junk journal. Right. So it's going to have so many different elements to it. It's going to have a little junk journal elements and a lot of mixed media art journaling elements because that's kind of how I like to do my uh, journals. That's how I like to work. And then, uh, so you see these collections. These are beautiful. I think that you can find these collections on Amazon. If I see the link, y'all, I will put it down in the description for anybody who's interested. And then I've just pulled out a few other sort of random pieces. This is like a... I think this came in a pack I got from Hobby Lobby, the gold vellum. I have that. I got this at Joanne's too. This um, vellum sheet. Is it vellum? Foil. Foil vellum. Uh, I think I, it was on sale at the time that I got it. So, yeah, it's, a, it's the same area in, in Joanne's where you get that gold paper at. So, these two are kind of like in the same little, you know, little on the, on the paper thing. Uh, yeah, you can use colored pencils to enhance the color. Yes, you could. And you know what? I have some, um, um, Inktense pencils. I think that would be kind of cool, right? Inktense pencils would be great on that. So, and then I got some of these other page papers here. Uh, y'all, I have some paper that I hauled on my birthday at Paper Source. I have never showed y'all. Only because I'm a little shamed because it was so expensive. <laughs> But it's fabulous paper, y'all. It's fabulous. <laughs> this paper is fabulous. Like, no smart person would pay this much money for paper but me and maybe a few other people in the world. I'll show it to you. Okay. So, see, I pulled out a few jelly prints, too. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just, you know, putting things together. So, if you want to do yourself, give yourself a theme journal, just start collecting your bits, you know, and sort of lay out. Every, once you get your stickers together, your ephemera, you know, your pieces paper kind of lay it all out and look at it that way you know what you need you know what you don't need if you need something extra you have to order it or something like that i mean you can still start your journal even if you don't have all the elements you know you just use what you have start with what you have and if you have to order something later do that you know like i ordered that um the stamperia because when i bought it in the store y'all she didn't have any of this stuff you know, to go with it. There was no ephemera. There was no stickers. There wasn't anything. So I had to go scouring the internet to try to find it. And I found the rice paper. And this is actually going to be a separate um, thing. I may try to put a little piece of this in the journal that I'm going to make. But this may be just a whole separate layout in my art journal. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that, okay? So I'm going to try to use them both. I don't know about these stickers. These stickers are a weird color. Like this, go this gorilla is blue. Like who is using a blue gorilla? Some of these other ones I could probably use, but I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure about this either, but I pulled it out. That's what I'm saying. So if even if you're not sure, just pull it out. Can't see what to wait when you're done. Yeah. So if you're not sure about what you want to do, pull it out 
And once you start working on it, it'll start to come to you, right? You'll say, oh, I need this and I don't need that or whatever, you know? So just, and then you can sort of group them all together. And when you're working, you can stick them all in a folder and just pull out what you need. Everything is there, you know? Like I want, I didn't want to go digging for gold. Like I didn't want to start digging in and looking for all this stuff. So I just put everything in this folder, just 12 by 12. I got these Hobby Lobby. And, um, you know, that's it, right? I just, I couldn't, I, I can't do that. I, it would just annoy me. I wanted everything right at my fingertips is what I mean. You know, all the stuff that I want to use right there. So I'm going to put this back in here. All right. <clears throat> so, and I even put my fabrics together. I'll show you those two. And I'm going to show you the uh, paper source paper. And then I'm going to get out of here. All right. What time is it? Okay. My family just got home, so... <laughs> Oh, here, you know what, let's put, uh, here, let's put this up here, because I want to be able to see this, okay, if I put the, put light with light, I'm going to put this stuff in the back, all right, oh, well, by the way, this is an Amazon package right here, you know how Amazon sends you uh, a package, I pulled this aside, because I'm going to do some, um, <clears throat> I may, you know, tear it up and use it in projects, I may paint on it. I don't know, but I really like this. So you see, it's like just a recycle envelope. I just tore it apart and then that's it. Scribble off the address and stuff and that's it. So I like that. I think it has little stuff inside of it, but I don't know. I think it'd be cool. So I'm adding that to the repertoire of stuff. All right. So if you want to use all of your bits, your scraps, you know, your jelly prints, um, you know, your ephemera, all that stuff, your rub-ons, put it all in an envelope together so when you start working, you have everything close by and then uh, you can, you know, be good to go. So, I love these. This is my favorite. Oh, this stuff is here. It's great. All right. Let me see. Let's put this away. Uh, some stuff I'm putting in the back because I'm not sure. The stuff I'm not sh sure about, I'm putting it in the back, you know, That's what I'm trying to say. I love these butterflies. I love these butterflies. If you have these, you should be putting these on a lot of your projects. It's beautiful. I thought they were gorgeous. So, all right. Now let's uh, let's just put that back there. I'm putting this up here. Uh, put this back here. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm doing this online on, on while I'm on here, but and then we're putting it all in here. All right. Oh. oh, hold on. All right, and then put this in here too. I don't know if I use that, but it's there. Oh, and this too. So, we have that. Okay. Um, and then, um, here, let me show you this. Just one second, and I'll show you the paper when we get out of here. I ain't going to be too long. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> so, here is uh, some of the fabric I pulled. And again, I wanted all of my stuff sort of at my fingertips. I didn't want to be digging for things. The only thing I'm going to probably have to look up for is my trims. Because they're on bolt, and I don't want to, you know, put them out right now. But um, I have this, I got from Dollar Tree, this fabric. It's sort of leopard fabric. It's really cute. You know, if you're doing any type of an ethnic uh, anything, this, you know, stuff like this works great. Like a journal, you know what I thought about? A journal on like India and Asia would be great too, right? And the beautiful, you know, the beautiful colors and all of that would be just so beautiful. So uh, I'm going to use, I might use a little bit. I may make some snippets out of this. Right, because it's just a fat quarter, so I thought that's kind of pretty. And then I have this one. I don't know if this is zebra print. I don't even know. I just got I got it and don't remember. It might be, yeah. So yeah, very cool. Look at that. Right? So got that one. And of course the kente cloth I have. I don't know if I'll use it, but I have it. And then of course this will be the cover. This is gonna be the cover, I think. As of now. Right? Isn't that beautiful? I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, you know, when their fabrics go on sale, you can get like a, a yard of it for, I don't know, four bucks or something like that. So yeah, I thought that was beautiful. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. And then uh, of course I have this, I got a yard of this. I think I got this at Joanne's. I believe I did. And I think it was on sale too. Look at this. So in case some of y'all hadn't seen this, like it looks like that paper, doesn't it? Look at that. So realistic. Just beautiful. So, yeah, gather your stuff, your fabrics, 
have an idea of what what it is you want to make. You know, do you want to make a traveler's notebook? Do you want to make a regular journal? And so on and so forth. I tend to like the uh, traveler's notebook style just because they're easier for me to work in. Because I do do mixed media in them. You know? Um, hold on. And um, they're a lot easier for me to work in. So I can take the papers out if I need to. What's, what that, what is that? I don't know. But um, yeah, so you see how that is? This is kind of a traveler's almost. You know, I got to gotta glue that down. But so I did these pages and video already. Oh, I got, I can't show you the next videos coming up. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, you see this, this is like a, uh, it's going to be a mix. It's got reduced mixed media in this. It's going to be like a, what did I say? Mixed media, um, junk art, mixed media journal. Lord, I can't tell y'all. I'm sorry. But you see how I have different page pages in here, right? The vellum and the coffee dye paper, the jelly prints, the scrapbook paper. So, you know, put all your items together and, um, you know, fold them together and see how they look. And then you can pull stuff out if you want to. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a sneak peek. <laughs> of what's coming up. <laughs> uh, it's a sneak peek, y'all. Yeah, the quick sneak peek for those who are here. Okay, so it's probably going to be the same size as this. Cause that's the kind of size I like to work on my journals, you know, beautiful. It's, it's easy to work in and I don't need a whole bunch of pages. You know, I don't need, you know, to put to be like this thick. That's just too much for me. Way too much, too much to do and too many videos. <laughs> so hold on a second. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> this is the last thing and we're going to get out of here. <sighs> now I went shopping. Um, well, I did I go shopping? No. I went to Santa Barbara for my birth my birthday. My husband took me to Santa Barbara. We went to lunch by the beach. It was really cute. I do have a video on my other channel, Stephanie G TV, a small video of just what I'm talking about getting older and aging and stuff, right? So you get to see where we went, and it's really cute. Uh, it was overcast, but it was still really nice. So we drove to up to the city, you know, in the city from the beach, and they have a paper source up there. And I always try to pop in that paper source whenever I go up there because I don't have one close to me. I think the next paper source, y'all, is probably way, way away, you know, far away, just as far as Santa Barbara. So whenever I'm up there, see, I didn't want to unravel this because I'm not ready to use it, but I want to show it to you. I try to go in there. Now, some of this paper I've never seen before. And I had to have it. I was, I walked in and they had Maggie Holmes, y'all. They had some Maggie Holmes stuff in there, but it was really pricey. I was like, no, girl, we can get that on scrapbook.com. <laughs> I'm paying that much money for it. But they always have the most fabulous papers. So if you're ever in a place where they have a paper source, pop in there. Because if you do mixed media, the papers are just amazing. They're expensive, but they're amazing. Okay. Don't hate me. But this is the paper I got. Look at this. I don't even know how big this paper is. Look at how big this paper is. It is gigantic. <clears throat> so look at this. This is beautiful. This was uh like seven fifty. They were all like seven fifty, y'all. They used to these papers used to be like four dollars, five dollars. You know, they went up uh in price. So this is beautiful. I got this one. Okay. So we got that one. Let me roll this one up. I'm gonna keep them rolled up because I don't want them to. You gotta be delicate. All right. So I got this one. I've had this one before. I love this one. This gold. I might put some of this in my um, journal. I always I love this. So I got another one of these. This is kind of a rebuy. This beautiful, it's like sheer. I don't even know what kind of paper it is. It's just beautiful. These are supposed to be handmade papers. So I got one of those. Okay. Let's try to roll it back up. I don't know here. Um, look at this one. Isn't this gorgeous? I've never seen anything like this. Look at this. It has, it's like a, it almost feels like a, a cotton calligraphy paper, but it's like, um, it has brown in here, brown and like this color, other color. I thought that is beautiful. So I got that one. It's one of my birthday presents. And look at this. I've never seen paper like this. Look at this paper. I don't even know. It's like a wax. I don't even know if it's wax. It's almost like a calligraphy paper with like fibers in it or something y'all i don't even know i thought it was the best thing i had seen in a long time so i got two i got two of them they're gorgeous i can't wait to tear these up and cut these up and put these on stuff i was like you know what i had one and i said there's no way i'm gonna use the heck out of this so i just got two <laughs> and i have no regrets 
zero zero regrets period period okay look at that so unique so cool you know i know a lot of people ain't gonna have that in their projects you know i like to be have really unique things now this i could probably create because i have some calligraphy paper with uh you know i could just put gold paint on it and um you know let it dry but i thought this was cool i thought it was beautiful and it's already done for me but i might try to recreate this piece so that is my little haul that i got for my birthday that i never showed hold on all right hold on let me see <laughs> hold on a second have problems just a second all right Ooh, hold on y'all i'm trying to wrap this back up oh well i don't know i don't think i'm rolling it up right but okay Oh, I'll put some um some tape on here so it doesn't unravel. Just a second. Let's put a piece of tape on here so it doesn't unravel. Okay, there we go. Fabulous. Fabulous. And then one last thing. I took all of my ephemera out of the packages. And I use these for my ephemera. You know how you get these at the Dollar Tree, right? We all got a lot of these when Dollar Tree had these. I opened up probably 20 packs of the Tim Holtz stuff, uh, my, my, you know, my uh, die cuts and tags and stuff. And I just put them all in here, you know, just put everything in here so you can dig. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out if this is convenient because <laughs> it takes a while to kind of dig through all this stuff to pick what you want, but it's better than having them in the package, I think. I mean, I had them in a smaller little photo boxes but i don't have room to stock to stack those so i took a bunch of those out and just put everything in here so i have like four of these y'all full with ephemera and i bought a big thing i keep saying i'm gonna get out of here but i gotta show you something else um with um i'm gonna do all my maggie holmes stuff like that my maggie holmes ephemera and stuff like that and my like colorful bright stuff so this is for like the vintage things you know most of all of that is tim holtz and then this is like sort of um, other stuff. This is like Can Company and uh, some stuff I got from that website. And um, I'm going to say the name of it. And then, um, you know, some other die cuts and stuff like that. And then this is uh, the, the stuff I got at Hobby Lobby, y'all. The uh, infirmary, you know, we got the Hobby Lobby packs. So I put that, I just opened all of that and put it in a box. So I can just dig through it and try to find what I need. And then I, you know, I have ordered some tickets from Amazon. So I'll put those in here too. Because I want things to be accessible. You know, I've used to I was spending so much time digging through the drawer and looking for this and looking for that. It was driving me insane. So I said, screw it. I'm just gonna put it all in, you know, these boxes. And if I have to dig through here, that's fine. But when you start digging through stuff, y'all, you get inspired. You're like, oh, this is pretty. I could use this. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, you know, you start, the, the ideas start to come. So that was another reason why I did this, okay? So that's just to give you another idea of what, if you want to do, you know, have your ephemera packages and stuff at the ready. Oh, here, I'm losing this one. I think this is a Tim Holtz. Um, so, you know, because when you start digging, you, you get all kind of bright ideas, right? And then um, I put the papers in here. And then, um, hold on. I see, I used to have them in here, right? I don't, I don't have a lot of room for a bunch of these. I have a bunch of them, but I just, I don't have a, a lot of room for them. So I think I'm going to have to get a bigger container to put all of them in, you know? I don't know. Uh, this is that Hobby Lobby um, infirma that we all got, you know, the vintage Hobby Lobby infirma. So I put, I just put that in here for now. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but that's where it's at. All right. So I got that. But let me show you this other stuff here really quick. Um, 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 oh. Hold on. I didn't get a chance to show a haul on this. But, you know, since we're on now, I'll show it to you. Because it kind of all goes together. So, I did this one also, one of those Dollar Tree containers. They don't even have these. They only really have them around back of school time. 
I put the newer, some of the newer Tim Holtz stuff in here, like the frames and some of the vellum pieces, just because, so it would just be easier for me to like flip through and look for what I want. You know, some of the bigger cards and stuff, some of these, you know, because you get so, so much inspiration, you know, like that. And then you have your, these sort of cards here. I put those in there. And then what I did was I opened all the, the, the Tim Holtz packs, you know, the paper packs, and I just put them all in here. Look at that. So that way I can just flip through and just get what I need. And they're, that's, they're there. And I put this in here too. This sort of the one wallpaper. It's not, I didn't open it, but it's in there. Hi. Pum. Hi, Pum. <laughs> so I did all that to uh, make it more convenient for me to grab things. Again, because I was just got so sick of digging for things. I got I would get frustrated and say, oh, screw this. I'm not doing this. You know, I got to look for stuff. So, I mean, again, like I have to still look for it, but it's it's a pleasure to look for it now in a way because I get to see everything, you know, because I'm the kind of person, if I don't see it, I'm not going to use it, you know? So that's an idea for you all if you're interested in that. Now, this is a big one. I got this big container. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Let me get my focus together here. Um... Why is it not focusing? Just a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Get her together. Let me get her together. Just a second. Ma'am. Ma'am. The camera. That's what I'm talking to. Ma'am. <laughs> Pull it together. <laughs> well, maybe as I go along, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll go. Now, this whole container I got, y'all, I got this at Joann's. And it was, I think they had a 50% off sale. And then I had an additional coupon. It was like $8 and I think I had a 20% off that at that particular time that I got these. Got them a few weeks ago. So here's the lid, right? So it's like that. I mean, let me see if I can, oh, hold on. Get the mic. Let me see if I can go out just a little bit. Can you see okay? I know it's not the best, but hold on. Why is it, y'all, having issues? Okay, there we go. Girl, she don't focus right. But it was like eight dollars, and then I have that additional coupon. So these are great for ephemera and stickers and stuff. They're amazing, and they lock and they stack, right? Great organization. So I put all of my Fort Market and Forty Nine stuff in here, y'all. All of my ephemera. This is all Market and Forty Nine stuff that I had. I had probably eight, nine, maybe ten packs. I don't know. But I put it all in here, and it's so beautiful. So I can just, just sift through it and look, and it's just just amazingly beautiful like look at the doors and i can't wait to use this on something i cannot wait i love it look at the windows the shutters <gasps> aren't they cool right oh i love that i could see everything it was just, just yeah i mean like i don't this goes to uh something else that's just not market 49 but i put it in here so and you see they have really big pieces in here so you could use these on other things you know i love market 49 Love, love, love their stuff. So I got another one of these containers. I'm going to use it for, I said I was going to use it for my Maggie Home stuff, but y'all, I might put some more Tim Holtz stuff in it and then get one more and then use that for, for Maggie Homes, right? So I have these in there, my eucalyptus leaves, you know, my little vellum pieces. I just put the, I just put it in there because, you know, it's there. And then some of the, see, some of the bigger pieces wouldn't fit in those little boxes. So you see all these big pieces, right? They're not going to fit in those little photo boxes. So I wanted to be able to look at them, you know, and see what I need. And I felt like the only way to do that was put it in these boxes. Sort like a crafter sandbox. Exactly. Yes. So I thought these are beautiful. I get to just, you know, open it up and look at it and see what I need or what inspires me. And just go with there. And then I kept the packaging, y'all. See, Market 49 has really cute packaging. Look at that. You could use that in a layout or whatever. So, and of course, Prima does that too. Prima has it where you can use the background and the packaging. So I kept all the packaging for the die cuts. Really, really cute. And uh, they sell Market 49 on uh, Amazon. It's a little pricey, but you probably it's probably better to get it from Joggles or Scrapbook.com if you're going to get it. Like here, look at all look at all these packaging. Like I can make just different things just with that. That's one of the packaging. See, just all packaging. Cute. Got this one. Look at that. That's so cool. 
And this one, and this one, great. These are my great mixed media packets, uh, great mixed media uh, projects. And this one's beautiful. So keep your packaging too. If you like it, you know, you know, you could use it, keep it and just put it in your box. So when you're sifting through your items, you'll have something to inspire you. You can make a companion piece. You can make a journaling card. You can make um, a, uh, a flip or a tuck. So would you mind if I ask where you got the 9th, 49th and Market from? I bought it from a, a craft store, but they sell it on Amazon. They sell this on Amazon, joggles.com, and um, scrapbook.com. Scrapbook.com has a lot. I was just on there recently. They have this. It's called 49 and Market. Their papers are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, it's a little, it's a teeny bit pricey. It's kind of like up there with Prima. So, you know, just know that when you go. <laughs> but it's worth it because they have such good quality stuff. Great quality stuff. I love all of their stuff. The paper's great. The die cuts are great. I'm not affiliate. I'm just a fan. And I use this quite a bit in my layouts and all of my, my work, right? But yeah, scrapbook.com has a lot of this stuff. And, you know, scrapbook.com has sales and, you know, you get a freebie and all of that. So I was on there the other day, a couple of days ago, and I was looking at some stuff. But I think I have all of the newer ephemera. I don't have any of the paper, though, y'all. I was looking at the paper, but I don't need paper. <laughs> I just mix and match this with some of the other stuff I have, right? So I do have another one of these boxes. Um, it's right here, right? So and you can stack them. So again, Joanne's has these, and they were they might be sixty percent off now. I don't know. Um, so yeah, these are really really nice uh, stackable boxes for your stuff, whatever you want to put in stickers or whatever. So. All right, I want. I've been wanting to share that for the longest, but I thought, well, I ain't gonna do a video about it. I'll just share it, you know. So, um, that's it now. Um, hold on. Uh, I think that's it, y'all. I think. Hold on, just a second. I think that's it. Hold on. 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 Hold some process videos, uh, journaling videos. All right. And then after that, I am going to do one more project. I makes me a project. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to um, build my uh, African, African American journal. Okay. So stay tuned for that. All right. I'm just putting all this in the shot. So when we have a thumbnail, <laughs> we could have a thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> I like all my buttons. Oh, yeah. Go get the buttons, Palm. I know you might know. You, I think you got some of these. Oh, by the way, I watched your video. I didn't comment. Y'all, I watch y'all videos. I just want y'all to know. I do watch them, Linda and Palm and a few others. I watch the videos. I just don't comment because sometimes I don't, I, I don't have time. And then I forget. I said, okay, I'm going to go back and comment. And then I forgot all about it. <laughs> so I do watch them, though. All right. So, but yeah, these um, buttons were... Again, I'm going to mention this one more time for the people who came late. Anything over $3.49 was $1.99 for the buttons. Anything $3.49 and under was $0.99. Cents. And then, of course, they have some clearance ones, which I did not get. But they have not marked them yet. So when they mark those, I'll go back and get just the actual clearance ones. But these were on sale. These were $1.99 each. Right? $1.99 for all of these. For this one, you know, each. So check your stores because they probably have a sale going on okay and um of course the clearance stuff you know the, so the sewing aisle is going on clearance now so all right i think i got everything here i think so oh here's my dots i'm gonna, I'm gonna check these dots out i'll let you know you'll probably see me use these in a video too these little paint dots like i said i think the hobby lobby sells these too um but yeah so if you're looking for those that's where you can find them um, I think that's it, y'all. I think I don't think I have anything else to share. I did everything that I wanted to do. All right. Oh, thank y'all. I'm so glad you all joined me. Love the bees. Aren't they cute? I love these. I put one of these on my, my bee journal. This is beautiful. Look at that. Wait, let me hold that. This is beautiful. All of these are just gorgeous. Look at that. Just I don't even know what I'm gonna put that on. I just thought it was gorgeous. Y'all know I'm I'm um I'm extra. <laughs> I like bling and I'm extra. So yeah, I put stuff like this on projects, y'all. I'm just, 
yeah, that's just my that's just my thing, right? So the girl likes bling, but um, so I'm gonna get to editing, and you should be seeing some other videos coming out probably next week. I'm gonna try to edit this weekend and uh, get up. Maybe try. I'm gonna try to get a video up on Monday. But oh, meanwhile, let me see if I can share my screen because I want you guys to see my other channel. Um. I don't know. Hold on a second. Just a second. Wait a second here, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to try to show show some, show you guys something here real quick. Uh, oh, here, let me, let me pull this up. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is the other channel. Uh, this is share screen. Let's see if I can do this, y'all. Uh, okay. I am, oh, you can, can you see that? Let me see. Oh, there we go. Wait, can you see that? I don't see it on my... Uh, I don't see it on my... Uh, oh, wait, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so this is... Um, hold on, wait one second. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So this is my other channel, Stephanie GTV. I only have 76 subscribers. And, you know, I'm not really sure the direction I'm going to go with this channel yet. I think it's going to be like um, just some fun stuff, like travel stuff, you know, beauty, fashion, um, lifestyle, food, stuff like that. Because actually, Stephanie G, this channel y'all watching used to be that type of channel. When I first started YouTube, that's what this channel was back in the day. And then I sort of started to do uh, more creative stuff. So it became more of a creative channel, right? But I realized I have to have a backup channel just in case, God forbid, something happens to this channel because of her horror stories where YouTubers get their channel taken down or reported or hacked or something goes crazy and they get their channel gets messed up. So if anything should ever happen to this main channel, y'all, y'all come over here. That's why I wanted people to come over here to backup channel. So I've just uploaded a few videos here. This is my day at the beach where you get to see where I went for my birthday. It's a really short video. Most of these are really short. And this is a new TJ Maxx haul I had for if you like makeup and skincare. Okay. And then this one is um, for, um, you know, hold on. This one is for, um, you know, clothes and stuff. Clothes, shoes. Oh, hold on, y'all. Just a second. I should just let it play, huh? You know, clothes, shoes. I got some cute new bags, y'all. If you want to see that, look at that. Cute bags. If you like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff and you shop over there, check this channel out, okay? Check, uh, that's a, sort of my favorite go-to places. All right. And then I have a few other videos over here. And then, y'all, for those of you who aren't familiar with me from back in the day, I used to be a red carpet host, red carpet, uh, yeah, red carpet uh, reporter. Um, I haven't done it in a long time because, you know, COVID and everything. And they just recently started the last couple of years. But I think I've kind of aged out of doing that. Although if I, you know, was asked to do it again, I probably would. But, you know, nobody's asking <laughs> yet. Um, but I used to do uh, red carpet. So here's a lot of my videos of just some of the celebrities and stuff that I did uh, interviewed. OK, so if you ever want to see, you know, what I used to do here, I just linked it just because I think it just shows some um, credentials and professionalism and stuff like that. All right, so that's where I worked, uh, you know, for for the Press Pass LA and for Red Carpet Report TV. Uh, and then also I worked over at After Buzz TV. This was before I was on, uh, had my own YouTube channel. I think I just started my YouTube channel around this time. And it, I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff on here, you know. So this is a lot of, uh, of my older videos. I've interviewed Heidi Klum and Shirley Ralph and a lot of black celebrities and Viola Davis. I met with her. I met her. She was really sweet. I can't believe that was four years ago, y'all. My God. Wow. I probably should put this video first. Anyway, <laughs> I'm looking. Um, I could probably still do some gifting sweets and stuff, but I just haven't. You know, I'm happy doing what I'm doing now, but you never know what can come down the pike with me. You never know. So here's um, the uh, beach video. Sorry, my close-up of my mug. <laughs> uh, my hair was herring. The hair was herring, y'all. <laughs> the hair was herring. So, and I had stuff in my teeth. So never mind that. But I had a great day at the beach. Uh, we were only there for, you know, for lunch and stuff and did a little walk and stuff. So that was really cute. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you all. 
All right. Hold on. Let's see. Let's remove that. All right. Let me put myself back on camera. Hold on. I'm trying to do all this technical stuff here. Hey, there I am. Okay. Oh, I made it. I made it, y'all. Yes. Okay. I got to share everything I wanted to share instead of doing umpteen different videos. <laughs> I watched your TV reel. So awesome. Thank you. Oh, okay. You can leave. A, can you leave a link? Yes. Yeah, I'll leave a link down to, at the bottom. I think I am already subscribed to the one with the beauty. Okay. So if you have not subscribed to that channel, y'all, please do so. I would love for you to come over there and, uh, you know, hang out with me sometime. I can go live over there too. I am going to probably do some lives over there. I want to do some commentary videos, but sometimes when you do commentary videos and you say stuff, people, you know, come out of the woodwork and crazies come on there and like, I don't want to be bothered with that. I did that over at Afterbus TV, y'all. Oh my God. The hate that I got. The hate. Oh, you when, when you go, I'm gonna leave the link below. Scroll down to the and look at Afterbus TV and just read some of the comments. Y'all, the the racism, the misogyny. The stupidity, the arrogance, the narcissism, the gaslighting out of control. So that's why I'm always hesitant to do commentary videos. I mean, I commentary over here because I have my little my little podcast over here. I call it a podcast um, studio sessions. I'm going to have some more episodes of that as well. But I mean, like about events going on in the world, stuff like that. Just have, you know, some talks about what's going on. I just kind of, I, I had one video up and I took it down because I just... I didn't want to be bothered. There's nothing wrong with having a bunch of different things going on. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, people are just weird. So I may throw some of that stuff up over there, you know, from time to time. I do have a couple of videos, short little videos about how to be uh, on camera. I might post them here. Maybe. I already filmed them. I mean, they're, you know, they're really short videos. So those of you who are interested in um, learning how to become more personable on camera more professional on camera. They're just really short videos. And then also I'll put my links down there. So if you want to book a consult with me and learn how to be, um, you know, more together on camera and I can walk you through that, I can learn, help you learn how to become a content creator and all that stuff. I do a lot of consults. Well, not a lot, but I've done some. I had a recent uh, client where I um, helped her with her jewelry brand and she was very happy and I was so excited to help her. So if you have a jewelry business and you want to know about Etsy and which direction to go, you can book a consult with me. That link is all in the link tree. So you click on the link tree, y'all, and you open it up. Matter of fact, let me do it for you right now. Just so you know, since we're here. <laughs> just a second. I mean, uh, it says stop screen. Wait. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Stop screen. Okay. Now let's try to share that. Oh, wait. You know what, though? Let me open it up first. I think I have to do that first before I try to um, do that. And um, that way you can see all of the stuff. Okay, here's the link tree. Oh, here, let's close this out. And I'm going to share the screen too. So I have to learn how to do this because if I'm going to be doing all these videos and on different channels and all this stuff, I have to learn how to do this properly. So, so many people are ignorant, right? Yes, they are. Oh my God. Like I block folks. You're going to be, if somebody's going to be ignorant, mean and stupid, I block them because I don't have time. I don't want to argue with people. I still have people y'all commenting on videos on this channel that was five years ago. I'm like, girl, that's five years ago. Get over it. <laughs> you really comment. And I even said that to her, I was like, honey, this video is five years old. She went, oh, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but anywho, here is my link tree. So you click that link and it just says SG Creative Design. So it incorporates everything that I do. I'm a content creator, jewelry designer, mixed media artist, artist, actress, and host. So it has all of my links here. So if for a brand wants to contact me, they can click there. Uh, if somebody wants to, uh, you know, invite me to discuss on a panel or event or heck a red carpet, whatever, I can they can book me here. Um, I have a, the, the strategy sessions available for anybody who wants to you know, book a consult with me about um, becoming a content creator. And I have a strategy session, session for learning how to become more confident on camera. So those are available to be booked. Just have to get your dates together if that's something you want to do. All right. And then I have my YouTube channels here, my TikTok, all of my Etsy shops, uh, my Instagrams. God, I got everything on here. Uh, if somebody wants a private shopping call, I have that available. You know, if they want to buy jewelry and art, 
I haven't had anybody do that yet, but it's it's available if anybody should want to do that. You know, like it'll be a video call, of course, and then you pay for shipping. I think uh, I have it set where it's a thirty dollar minimum purchase. So if you say you want necklaces or something like that, and um, you want to see it and talk about it, whatever, you can book a call. The call is free, and then you just agree to pay through PayPal and the shipping, and I'll ship it to you. So that's what that's set up for. So that's a good idea for any of you who have uh, websites and Etsy shops and things like that, right? What else I got? Uh, let's see. Oh, book a private consultation, you know, for jewelry and art. Either way, um, I have my Facebook page. I have my art page where you can shop for art. You can put them on pillowcase, not pillowcase. Well, you can put them on tote bags, T-shirts, mugs, and actual order art for your walls. That's available. And my jewelry page, my Facebook group. If you're not a part of the Facebook group, go ahead and join that. So, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff here, y'all. Twitter's here. I have a couple of free cl uh, couple of little classes here available. And people can donate to the channel if they want to. That's available. Um, this also lists my credentials, the jewelry companies that I've designed for, the art classes that I've taught, and my IMDb uh, for my um, acting and hosting credentials, if anybody wanted to see that. And here's my resume at the very bottom, if people want to see what my acting um, resume is. I haven't done anything in recent years, but it's there. <laughs> it's there for all to see. It's all there. All right. And then I have it set up where this have the YouTube, the Etsy, you can click either one of these. Now, for this link tree, y'all. They have a free version of this that you can set up for all of your stuff. Linda and Palm and all of you who have um, YouTube channels and social media. Try to use this uh, free version. Now, you do have to set this up. It's, it's going to take a while to learn how to set it up. And you have to log in, create an account, and then create figure out how to create the links and all of that. So, you know, it's like one-stop shop. You know, people click on one link and they can just go to all of your stuff. They ain't got to go to 15 different page you know 15 different sites to find everything everything is in one place so this is great for any of you content creators out here who you know want to make everything cohesive right now i have a paid version i pay five dollars a month which is nothing and they have a, uh, another version i think it's thirty dollars a month or something you get more bells a lot more bells and whistles with that but i don't really need that right now so but the free version is really good too so i don't know how many links you get available with that i would check that out first but if you don't have that many that's cool right so you can, uh, there are YouTube videos or you can watch of how to set this all up. So that is a recommendation, um, you know, from me. All right. So, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do that video too. <laughs> I had to tell you all about that. So I'm just uh, putting everything in one. I probably got to change the title of the video. So we did a haul and we did a storage um, container share and we did a journal um stuff share and then i talked about um my other youtube channel all right so all those links will be down in the description if you want to um you know come over to my other channel and follow me that'd be great all right is any, if anybody has any questions now's the time to ask otherwise i'm gonna get out of here i'm getting hungry let's see yeah sg creative yeah the, the link is um just go to one of my videos here and you can click on the link it's in the other videos i haven't i didn't have time to put all the links down in the, this video but once this once i get off of here i will it's usually the first link in the top of every uh, video that I have. The first link, just click it and just go down and, you know, you can look at everything. So, and if you have any questions, you know, like um, after the fact about your link tree and stuff like that, uh, those of you who have my email, you can email me. All right. And if you want to set up a consult, we can do that too. I do 30 minutes consult. So if you want to know how to, you know, like I said, be, um, those those consoles though are pretty basic. I don't do go over a whole lot of stuff, but if you have like questions about content creation, if you have questions about jury business, I do 30 minutes. You know, I'll give you some basic stuff to start with. And then if you want, you know, uh, much more strategy sessions, those sessions are also available. So those of you who watch my channel know that I have lots of information um, to share and I'm very knowledgeable and, and I'm very skilled at what it is I do. Now, I don't have a gazillion subscribers, but I don't necessarily think you have to. You know, there are a lot of people who have big channels that they really don't have a clue. <laughs> I mean, they 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 know how to, you know, work it, work it a little bit in and out, but that's it. So, you know, at, at a later time, if you decide this is something you want to do, just let me know. All right. Or you can, um, you know, let your friends know. Send them a link or something. I don't know. All right. All right, y'all. Thank you. You're a cool lady. Thank you so much. All right. 
All right, y'all. Everybody follow Miss Linda Magruder Art. Uh, Linda is over a thousand subscribers, y'all. Yay for Miss Linda. Yay. Good for you, Linda. I saw that. Congratulations. So y'all go follow her if you're not following her. And uh, she has all kinds of cool stuff on her channel. She does watercolors and she has hauls and all kinds of stuff. She is my mod. So you can definitely uh, check her out. All right. All right, y'all. I'm going to get out of here. And I thank you for watching and sharing in my, my stuff. And I will see y'all. I'm going to try. I might try to go live on Sunday. Can't prompt. Well, no, that's Mother's Day. So probably not. Sorry. But I'm going to go live probably the following. All right. <laughs> or at least once during the week. Maybe. We'll see. But just stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and turn the notification on, bell on, you know, on the channel. So you'll be notified when I do go live. <clears throat> okay. Then I'll post it usually. And I always post it. I try to post it in the community tab as well. All right. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.